okay, so we got an obliques request. Um, we're gonna do saver. So two exercises, three sets of each. So we group them together. And then we do a little circuit. So we're gonna get sweaty, we're gonna get the blood pumping. Um, let's do it, let's stand up. Go ahead and just stand parallel, feet hips distance, just wherever's comfortable. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down a few times. Just kind of get all of those wiggles out here. And then reverse the direction. Roll them up, forward, anchor them down a couple more times. And then let's go ahead and just let those shoulders settle down into your back. Roll them open. Shake it out. Let's roll out that neck a couple times here. Release your neck. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of breathing. So you're gonna take a big inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Think of getting tall through your fingertips, tall through the crown of your head. And then exhale, imagine you're just pushing the air right back down by your sides. Tuck your ribs in, draw your navel in and up. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, just press your arms all the way down. Let your shoulders settle out of those ears. Do that one more time. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, let's just press those arms all the way down. Let's add that forward fold. So you're gonna inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, scoop out your belly. So think navel up into your spine, round your back. Come all the way down to the ground. Go ahead and for this first one, just let your head hang heavy for a second. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Bend those knees a little bit, take a big breath in, and then as you exhale, press into your feet, turn on the back of your legs, scoop your belly, restack your spine, come all the way back up, and again, just press your arms all the way down by your sides. Again, inhale, arms up a little quicker, exhale, scoop your belly, roll yourself down, inhale at the bottom, exhale, drive through those heels, fire up those legs, scoop your belly, reach up, settle those shoulders as your arms come down. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, scoop, curl all the way down. Take a big breath in and then exhale, scoop again, round yourself up. And then let's settle those arms down by your sides. We're gonna go wide, second position today. So heels are turned in, step your feet super wide, wider than your mat, toes are turned out. As you inhale, we're gonna bend those knees into that squat, arms are gonna reach out in front of your shoulders. Exhale, come up and just press your arms back. Think of chest expansion, open your collarbones. Inhale, bend, reach those arms out. Exhale, press those arms back. So here's our first exercise. We're just adding a little bit of that chest opening to that squat. You want your tailbone tucked, your ribs tucked in, belly button pulled in, and then lifting up towards the ceiling. And then as your arms press back, think of squeezing the shoulder blades, opening up those collarbones nice and wide. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Let's go eight more like this. Just starting to feel everything waking up here. You got just five. In four, we're gonna come all the way up in three. In two, we got jumping jacks today. Last one, come all the way up. Go ahead and step your feet in first, and then let's jump. Out and in, big arms moving, big motions here. Again, waking everything up. Tuck your tailbone, lift your chest, collarbones wide. Think shoulders out of those ears. Moving from your center, so you're in control. If you need to modify, you step your foot out and in as those arms make those big movements. Let's go just 10 more seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two seconds, set, find your squat. Wide feet, inhale, bend, exhale, press. Squeeze your shoulder blades, bend, reach, press open. Whew. I'm already out of breath. Shoulders out of those ears. Think of your arms like they're moving through molasses. And then drive down through those heels. Squeeze that booty. Ooh, squeeze those inner thighs at the top. Let's go for five, four, three, two more, chest lifted. Okay, last one. Let's go back into that jumping jack. Let's go for it, jump. Out and in, so staying light on those feet. Again, moving with control, so no crashing. Lifting up with your center. Find that powerhouse. You guys are doing awesome. Keep breathing. 10 more seconds here. Whew, oh, my ball is coming loose. <laughs> last five, four, three, two, last one. Last set, wide second position. Heels in, toes out. Reach out, come up, press those arms back. Chest open. Without popping those ribs as you press your arms back. Ribs stay laced. Navel stays pulled in. Imagine that belly button riding that elevator up towards that ceiling. Whew. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Almost there, you guys. We got one more set of those jumping jacks on deck. 
Hang on to it here. Bend and press. Let's go five, four, last three, last two. Okay, last one, final set, jumping jacks. Let's go for it, out and in. Woo! Light on those feet. Again, lifting up from your center, chest up. Even when the arms come up, you wanna keep those shoulders anchored down. Last 10 seconds here, you got this. Breathe through it. Good, you guys, for five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's go back into that wide second position. So we're gonna add a little pulse. You're gonna come down, down, all the way up. So pulse down, down, all the way up. Still doing that little chest expansion. If you want, you can always bring your hands to heart center, keep them here. Hands to your hips is fine. Or even hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, elbows wide. Then make sure again, your ribs are not popping open. If you want a little extra shoulder work, add that chest expansion, add that back body work. Up, pulse down, down, up. Let's go three, two, Okay, last one, hold it down at the bottom. Interlace your hands behind your head. Elbows wide, stay low. You're gonna side bend right. Up through center, side bend left. Up through center, so your hips are not moving. You're tilting that spine, getting that lateral flexion. Elbows wide the whole time. Little tuck of that tail, ribs are tucked in. Belly button is still pulled in. Side bend and up. To the right and up, to the left. And up, let's go two more each side, elbows wider. So that's it you guys, last one, stay low. Okay, back into that little pulse, pulse up. So down, down, all the way up. Down, down, all the way up. Lift that heart, press those arms back if you're adding that arm movement. Ribs stay laced, up, press through those heels. Down, down, and up. Let's go five. Breathe through it, four. Ooh, getting sweaty, three. Two more. Okay, last one, we're gonna hold it down at the bottom. Again, interlace your hands. Let's go for it, side bend right, up through center, side bend left, up through center. Don't move those hips, just think about that spine. Think like your back is up against a wall. You're like a little windshield wiper, right up against that wall. Okay, two more each side. Right, lift up, left, lift up. Last one, right, lift up, left, Lift up, final set, go down, down, all the way up. Pulse, pulse, all the way up. Think about those heels again. Turning on the back of those legs. Woo, belly button lifting up towards the ceiling. Find that nice tall spine. Almost there, you guys, last set of these. Last five, shoulders down, four. Open that chest for three. Two more. Okay, last one, hold it down at the bottom. Last time, interlace your hands, push your head back, and then let's go, side bend right, up through center. Side bend left, up through center. Hips are stable, so just your spine is moving. Chin off that chest, you're pushing your head back into your hands, and pushing your hands into your head. Lifting up on the base of that skull, get that neck longer. Okay, last one, each side, you guys, right here. To the right, come up. To the left, come up. Reach your arms all the way out, sink a little lower. Let's come all the way up. Woo, good job, step your feet in. We're gonna do one more little standing series here. So heels together, toes apart, find your Pilates V. Elbows bent, palms up. We're gonna go into that serve the platter. Lift your heels, releve, serve your arms out. With control, lower your heels, bend those elbows right back in. So press out as your heels come up. Ooh, a little bit of balance. Lower your heels as your elbows bend in. Take your time, so slow it down a little bit. Refine that control. I don't know about you guys, I'm dripping sweat already. Reach up and out. And then bend those elbows lower down. So when your heels come up, you wanna keep your heels together. Don't let them separate. Otherwise, you're just kind of dumping it into your ankle joints. You wanna think about pinching your heels the entire time, using your booty to lift those heels up so you feel it all the way in that tush. And then even on the way down, you wanna feel that tush doing the work to control that motion. Shoulders out of ears. We're gonna go three more. Exhale, up and out. Inhale, bend the elbows, lower the heels. Two more, up and out. 
Okay, you guys, the last one, we're holding it up at the top, so find your balance, hold it, turn your palms in, you're gonna open your arms, bend your knees, come into that plie, your heels are still high, and then hug your tree, as you straighten those legs, those heels are still high. So plie, slide your back down that imaginary wall, slide right back up as you hug that tree. Think ribs knitting together tighter like you're cinching your waistline. Think crown of the head being pulled by that string up towards the ceiling, get taller. Melt your shoulders down your back two more times. Woo. Good job, you guys. Last one here. Come all the way up, hold it. Turn your palms back up, lower your heels, bend your elbows, and then serve your platter. Lift right back up, second set. Heels down, elbows bend, lots of control. Press, serve that platter, releve up. Good job, you guys. Think as your heels come up, your whole body goes straight up to the ceiling. You get taller, control it on the way down. Keep those heels squeezing together, use your booty. Think of even wrapping your inner thighs. You get a little bit of inner thigh work here. For three, woo, almost lost it. All the way back down. Two more. Balance is hard, you guys. Be patient with yourself. Okay, last one. We're going to hold this one up. Turn your palms in. Again, bend your knees. Think about your tailbone pointing down. You slide down that wall and then ride it back up. Hug that tree. Inhale, bend. Open the arms. Exhale. Straighten those legs. Squeeze that booty. Hug that tree. Let's just go for three. Almost there. Chest lifted for two. Ribs knit together. Think cinching that waistline again. Last one. Come all the way back up. Final set. Palms up. Lower the heels. Bend your elbows. And then serve your platter. Ooh, lift your heels back up. Remember, all ten toes have a job here. You're pressing into that big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. <laughs> Baby toe. I was like, how many toes do I have? <laughs> and then lower back down. Let's go for three. Equal pressure on all of those toes. Once I started counting, I had to commit to it. Two more. <laughs> and then last one, come all the way back up. Hold it, palms in, bend your knees. Think knees wide. And then come up, hug your tree. Woo! Keep those heels lifted, keep them pinched together. Working that tush. Ooh, my legs are already nice and toasty. Last two here, you got it, you guys. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Okay, last one, inhale, bend. Exhale, press, come all the way back up, lower everything down. Let's go ahead and go into a plank. So you're gonna stand at the back of your mat, Ooh, wipe off the sweat, heels together, toes apart, arms reach up, inhale, exhale, scoop your belly, round your spine all the way down, walk out into your plank. We're just gonna do one set of those mountain climbers. So right here, right knee comes in, step it back, left knee comes in, step it back. Think of standing strong and proud on those hands. As you pull that knee into your chest, you want to pull your belly up away from that thigh. Right knee in, step it back. Left knee in, step it back. The shoulders don't move. The hips don't move. Let's go three. Two more. Okay, last one here. And then just hold your plank. Heels together, toes apart. You're just going to shift forward and back. Keep your hips on that same exact line. Going straight forward so you're hinging at your ankles. Straight back for three. Still squeezing that booty for two. Last one. Come all the way down to those knees. Take a quick little child's pose and then we're going to come right back up. We are on those knees. Woo! We're going to get a little bit more oblique work here. So you're going to start on the knees. Hands come up behind the head. Knees are hips distance apart, elbows wide. Side bend to the right, like we did when we were standing, and then come back up. Side bend to the left, and then come back up through center. So right and center, left and center. Two more, right and center. Tuck that tailbone, left and center. Last one, tuck those ribs in. Last one to the left, come all the way up and hold it. Now take your right foot, step it all the way out to the right. You're gonna take that left hand, reach it all the way down to the ground. Imagine that your body's between two walls here. Reach that right arm to the ceiling, right leg comes up and taps the ground. Up and taps the ground. So you wanna think about picking yourself up with that left side of your waist. You're lifting up out of that left wrist. Right leg is lifting from your waist, but you're gonna start to feel a little bit in that booty as well. So think of lifting from your center up and down. Let's go for three. Chest open for two. 
Okay, last one. Hold that leg lifted. Reach that right arm up and over. And then you're just going to bend the knee and elbow in towards each other. Reach it back out. Bend it in. Reach it back out. Bend it in. Little crunch. Reach it back out. For four. You got it. For three. Reach. Try to keep that leg lifted. For two. Okay, last one. We're going back into that little leg lift. So tap the leg down, right arm to the sky, lift it up. Think about lifting from your waist. Lift, reach. Lift, reach. You got it, you guys. Chin off that chest. Collarbones wide. Think of rolling those shoulders back and down, lifting from your your side body. Ah, let's go for three. It's starting to burn. I know. Two. Last one, hold it up, reach that right arm over, get longer, and then bend it in, reach it out. Bend it in, reach it out. You got it, you guys. Bend and reach. Last four, bend and reach. Here for three, two. Okay, last one, you got one final set. Right arm up to the ceiling, tap that right leg down, lift it up. Oh, thank God it's the last one. My leg is on fire. Think again of connecting to your center, lifting from your waist. Not just using that leg, you're not just kicking, right? Let's go five. We got it. For four, roll those shoulders back. For three, getting out of that left shoulder. For two, okay, last one, hold it up, reach that arm over, stretch your body longer, bend it in, reach it out. This is it. Bend it in, reach it out. You got it, you guys. Tuck those ribs in, open up that chest. Let's go four, three, Woo. two more. Okay, last one, go ahead, set that leg down. Reach that arm up to the ceiling. With control, you're gonna lift yourself back upright in three, two, one. Use your abs, yay, good job. Let's go ahead and do that again. Arms up, interlace your hands behind your head. Knees or hips distance, tuck your tail, side bend right, up through center, side bend left, up through center. Chin off that chest, remember you're pushing your head into your hands. Lifting up on the base of that skull, get that neck longer. We got it, one more each side. To the right, center, to the left, center, hold it, open up those arms. We're gonna go over to that right side now, so right hand down, left leg reaches out, left arm up to the ceiling, roll your shoulders back, tap the ground, lift it up, tap, and lift. You gotta roll those shoulders back, keep that chin off of that chest, Neck is nice and long. Tuck those ribs in, make sure they're not flaring. And then when you lift that leg, it's coming from your waist. You're not just kicking that leg, no momentum. Three more. Two more. Last one, hold that leg up, reach that arm overhead, get a little bit longer first. Bend the knee and elbow in, a little crunch in that side, and then reach. Bend it in, try to keep that leg lifted, hovering as you reach. You still get that work in that side booty. We got four more. For three, reach it out longer, two more. Okay, last one, hold it out, reach that arm back up, roll the shoulders back, tap those toes, lift it up with control, tap and lift. Open that chest a little bit more. Little squeeze of those shoulder blades behind you and then tuck those ribs in, pull that navel in. For three more, we got it. Last two. Last one, hold that leg up, reach that arm over, bend it in, reach it out. Bend it in, reach it out. You got it, you guys. Think about staying light on that right wrist. You're really using your center, your powerhouse to hold you up. Just two more here. Bend it in, reach it out, last one. Okay, final set, reach that arm up, tap that leg down, lift it with control. Think about really getting long through that leg as it lifts. Don't move your hips. Just the leg moves, nothing else. Four. Final set for three. Woo, you got it for two. Okay, last one. Hold it up. Reach that arm over, get a little longer. And then last time, bend it in. Reach it out. This is it. Bend and reach. Stretch that arm and leg. Make that little rainbow with your spine for three. Two. Okay, last one, and then let's come all the way back up with control. Take the foot down. Three, two, one, come all the way back up. Okay, one more time, we're gonna do this just to get our three sets in. Hands behind the head, knees, hips, distance. Side bend right, lift up. Side bend left, 
lift up. Think of that spine, making that big candy cane shape here. Ribs are pulled in, don't let your back arch. Tuck your tailbone under. Almost there, you guys. Last one each time. To the right and up. To the left and up. Let's go ahead and bring those arms all the way down. Turn towards the back of your mat. We're just gonna crawl right back out into that plank. Once I wipe the sweat, walk your hands out, come up onto your toes, and then let's do it again. Right knee in, pull that belly off that thigh, step it back, left knee in, step it back. Push the ground away from you, collarbones are wide, the crown of your head is reaching away from your heels and vice versa. Four more. Chin stays off that chest, look at the top edge of your mat. Okay, last two. Last one here. And then heels together, toes apart. We're just gonna shift that whole shape forward. Shift it back, right back into that little hinge. Think about keeping your hips and shoulders level as you go forward and back for three, two, and one. Come all the way down. Woo, little child's pose. Great job, you guys. From there, we're gonna come back up onto those knees. Let's go ahead and take that right foot again. You're gonna step it out to the right. Toes are pointing forward. Make sure all five toes point straight ahead. Once again, hands come behind your head, elbows wide. We're just gonna go into that side bend here. Think about making that nice long rainbow shape again. And then come right back up through center. So when you side bend, you wanna reach your head away from that right heel, chin off that chest. And then come up using that right oblique to lift yourself up. Keep your baby toe on the mat as you go over, and then rise back up, just two more. Over, elbows wide, and up. Good thing you requested obliques, over, and up. And then from here, you're gonna hinge over, bring your left hand down to the ground, reach your right arm up to the ceiling, keep your right foot down, and then just twist. Reach underneath, Think of threading that arm underneath that left armpit, and then open back up, untwist. So threading that needle, big twist, push the ground away, really exaggerate that twist like you're ringing out your waist, and then open it back up for three. And open, don't move your hips as you twist. Just your rib cage rotates around your spine. Okay, last one, big twist. Open it up, you gotta lift yourself up with your waist. Second set, interlace your hands behind your head. Let's go, over, keep that baby toe down, and up, elbows wide, going over, and up, chin off that chest. Connect those ribs, make sure you're not popping. Okay, two more here, over, and up, get longer. Pull up on the base of your skull, over, and up. Now we just go over, take that left hand all the way down to the ground, reach that right arm up, roll your shoulders back, steady your pelvis, twist. Reach underneath, bring out that waist, and then open it back up. Don't take your hips with you. So remember, the pelvis doesn't move. You squeeze your booty, you press into that bottom knee, you press into your right foot for three. Twisting it out for two. Okay, one more time, you guys. Big twist. Open it up. Now use your side. Lift yourself up through center. Final set. Interlace your hands behind your head. Going over. And then lifting up. Press into that foot. Use your legs. So your legs are your base. You want that base nice and strong. And then you should be feeling that right oblique now as you come up. You're working that right side of your waist. Two more. This is your final set on this side. Last one. Come all the way back up. And then go ahead, hinge over, left hand down, right arm up, final set of that twist. Reach underneath, ring it out. Really exaggerate the motion, no one's rushing you. Twist, reach it under, ring it out. And then open it back up for three. Steady that pelvis, squeeze that tush, press into that right foot for two. Okay guys, last time, big twist. Now we're gonna open it up, but keep your left hand on the ground. We're stepping it into your plank for your final set of that mountain climber. So right hand comes down, come up onto your right toes. Step your left foot back, right knee in, step it back. Left knee in, step it back. Pull that belly off of that thigh. Press the ground away from you, strong in those arms. 
Strong through that chest. Strong through that belly. Lift that navel away from the ground for three. Last two. Okay, last one, and then you got your final set of that hinge. Heels together, toes apart. Squeeze your booty. It's like when you were doing releve. Lift up onto your tippy toes. That full shape goes straight forward, and then hinge those heels back. Your booty does not come up and down. You keep everything on that same plane for three. Lift that navel for two. Last one here. And then drop those knees down. Take a quick child's pose. We gotta hit that other side. Last little bit here. Lots of obliques. Okay, so come back onto those knees. Take your left foot now. Step it out to the left. Your toes are pointing straight ahead. Your right hip is on top of your right knee. Interlace your hands behind your head. Ground that left baby toe as you go over to the right. And then up through center. Over to the right. Stay flat between your two panes of glass. And up through center, just for three. Working that left side body to lift yourself up. For two, chin off that chest, elbows a little bit wider. Okay, one more like that. Come all the way up, and then just hinge over. Take your right hand down this time. Left arm up to the ceiling. We're gonna twist, thread that needle, reach underneath that right armpit, and then rotate open. Steady your pelvis. So pressing into that left foot to help you stabilize your hips. Really pressing down into that right knee and squeezing that tush. Two more here. Twist it out. Open it up. Last one. Twist it out. Open it back up and then lift yourself up using that side. Interlace your hands. Round two. Let's go for it. Over to the right. And then up through center. Keep that left baby toe anchored down. Over to the right. Up through center, so make sure your toes are pointing straight ahead. You're not letting them turn out towards that other side of the room. Really use that leg, you guys. Squeeze your tush. Two more times here. Chin off that chest, elbows a little bit wider. Tuck those ribs in. Okay, last one. Come all the way up, and then you're just gonna hinge over so you can bring your hand down. Reach that left arm up. Let's twist it out, rotate. Bring it out. Open it back up. Bring it out. Oh, I'm feeling these ballas on my wrists, my shoulders. Reach and open. Two more. Reach and open. Last one. Reach. Open it up. And then use your abs. Come all the way up through center. Final set. Hands behind your head. Chin off that chest. Let's go for it to the right. And then lift up taller as you come up. Over to the right. Think long spine. Taller as you come up through center. For three. Keep that foot anchored. Woo. For two. You guys look good. Hang on to it. Stay strong. Last one. Okay, we're going all the way over. We're taking that right hand down. Final set. Reach that left arm up. Thread that knee. Bring it up. Twist. And open. Big twist, rotating that waist, and open. For three, that's it for two. Awesome, you guys, one last twist, and we're gonna use that side body one more time. Just lift yourself up through center, bend that knee in. Go ahead and take it on down. You can rock your hips side to side a little bit. You can do a little counter stretch, whatever you need, and maybe grab a sip of water. We're gonna get into those abs next. You're gonna have a seat on your mat. Towel off. Okay, so feet together. Knees are bent. Your feet are on your mat. Reach your arms out in front of you. Plug your shoulders down into your back. Sit up tall. You're going to tuck your tailbone. Curl your spine all the way down onto your mat. Just to the tip of your shoulder blades. So pause when you're in that C curl. Inhale, exhale without lifting your feet. Squeeze your thighs. Round your spine. Scoop your belly button in. Three stack. Come all the way back up, sit nice and tall. Again, tuck that tailbone. So you want to get your lower back to round into that mat behind you. Scoop, pause at your shoulder blades, inhale. Exhale, keep your collarbones wide as you come up. You don't want to hunch your shoulders. You want to pull your belly button into your spine to upright. Come back down, rolling through. One vertebra at a time, you're getting a little massage in that spine. Inhale, exhale, scoop your belly even deeper. Keep your chest open, your shoulders unshrugged to come right back up. Lengthen your spine, sit tall at the top. Two more. Rolling back, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze that booty. 
Exhale, scoop, curling back up, shoulders down, chest open. Okay, last one. We're going to roll back right until the tips of those shoulder blades. So right at that C curl, hold it without changing anything else. Arms are coming up. Reach them back without dropping your head. And then reach back towards those knees. So reach the arms back and then reach towards those knees. Try not to let your chest pop open. Try not to let your ribs pop open, I should say. You want your collarbones wide, but you don't want to feel like that chest is bobbing up towards the ceiling as your arms reach up. For three, keep that gaze over those knees. Take it out of the neck for two. Really focus on that belly button sinking into the spine. Last one, hold it here. Take a big inhale. Let's go second set. Come all the way back up. Sit up nice and tall at the top. Relax the shoulders. Tuck your tailbone. Hollow your belly. Get your lower back to hit that mat first. Roll back to the tip of those shoulder blades. And then inhale, exhale, scoop, curl right back up. Chin off that chest. Again, collarbones are wide. They're smiling. Don't let those shoulders hunch forward, you guys. Don't let your chest cave in. Let's go two more here. Rolling all the way up. Sitting tall at the top. Rolling all the way down. Okay, last one. Exhale, roll all the way up. And then let's roll it back just to that C curl, just to the tip of your shoulder blades. Hold it right here. Again, nothing else changes. Unshrug your shoulders. Reach your arms up and back. Don't let those shoulders hike up. Don't let those ribs flare open. Reach those arms right back out in front of you. So up behind you and then out in front of you. Looking at those knees. You want to make sure that your lower back is on your mat. Your belly button is pulled into that spine. You're not letting your lower back arch at any point. You got one more. Reach up and back. Reach it forward. And then final set. Inhale, exhale. Scoop your belly. Come all the way back up. Sit up nice and tall. And then inhale, exhale, tuck that tailbone. Roll your spine all the way down. Reach those arms. And then exhale all the way up. Shoulders out of ears. Sit nice and tall. And roll all the way back. Squeeze those inner thighs. Don't forget about your legs. Your legs have to stay active. Scooping to come up without lifting your feet. And then rounding your back, massaging your spine into that mat. Okay, last one here. Roll all the way up. Last time, we're going to roll it back to that C curl. Find the tip of your shoulder blades. Hold it right there. Anchor your belly button. Anchor your lower back. And then reach those arms up and back. And then out in front of you. Nothing else changes. Up and back. And out in front of you. You got it, you guys. For four. Shoulders out of ears. Neck long for three. Put it in the belly. Take it out of the neck. Two more. Okay, last one, we're gonna hold those arms reaching out in front of you. Give me a little pulse here. Scoop that belly, come up an inch, down an inch. Use your abs, up an inch, down an inch. Do not just bob your head. We got five, we got four. Belly button into spine for three. Do not let your lower back lift for two. Okay, last one, you're gonna put your head all the way down on that mat. Press the back of your shoulders down. Bringing your toes a little closer to your booty. And then keeping your lower back on the mat. Lift your legs into tabletop. And then inhale, do not let your lower back lift as you tap your toes to the mat. Exhale, use your belly. Lift those legs up into tabletop. Do not let your lower back lift off the mat as your toes come down to tap. So it requires a lot of lower ab control to make sure your back does not leave your mat as your legs come down. So nice and controlled for four. Think of that belly button sinking deeper into the spine to get those legs to come up. For three, press the back of your shoulders down, press your arms into that mat. For two, you got it, you guys. Okay, last one. This time you're gonna keep your knees lifted in tabletop, lift your chest, option to keep your arms reaching or interlace your hands behind your head, but you're gonna give me that little pulse again. Curl up an inch, up an inch. Exhale, scoop that navel deeper, unshrug your shoulders, collarbones wide. Do not hunch your shoulders, do not let your chest cave in. You got five, four, three, two. Last one, give your neck a little break, lower your head, but keep your lower back on the mat as your toes come down to tap. And then exhale, lift those legs back up. If you want that extra challenge, by all means, go ahead and lift your chest. 
Keep it lifted as you do those toe taps. Otherwise, you're just keeping your head down. You're concentrating on the lower abdominals a little bit more. So totally up to you what you want to do. But this is your second set. You just have one more to go. Tapping your toes. And then lifting back up. Open up that chest. Tapping your toes. Squeeze those inner thighs. Lift it back up. Okay, give me one more. Do not arch that back. Lower those legs. And then lift it up. Hold it there. Chest up. Shoulders out of ears. Post those abs. Up an inch. Up an inch. Let that belly button scoop deeper into that spine. That is why you pulse up. Not because you're bobbing your head. Don't arch that back. Don't lose that C curl. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two, we're gonna hold it up on one. Maybe you keep your chest up for this last set of toe taps. Toes down. Exhale, bring those legs back up. Even here, you wanna make sure your lower back does not lift off that mat. Toes up. Almost done, you guys. Breathe through it. Collarbones a little bit wider. Reach your arms out if you're still reaching. Elbows wide if your hands are behind your head. Let's go for three. Into that belly. I know it burns. Two more, you got it. Okay, last one, lift those legs up, and then lower your chest down. Straighten those legs up to the ceiling. Great job, you guys are killing it. Okay, so from here, keep your head down for this first part. You're gonna lower your right leg, and then scissor kick, switch, and switch. Again, your lower back is on the mat. You're trying to keep your belly button pulled down into your spine. Toes are pointed. That movement of your legs is coming from your center. Do not just use your quads and your hip flexors. Try to relax the front of your thighs. Maybe that means you take out the point of your feet. That's okay. Two more. Last one. Bring those legs up to the ceiling. This time, interlace your hands behind your head. Lift your chest. Lower both legs without arching that back. Lift those legs right back up. So double leg lowers. As your legs lower, think of them reaching away from you. So you lengthen out the front of that abdominal wall and then use that belly, sink that navel to lift those legs right back up to the ceiling. Elbows wide, gaze at those knees. It doesn't matter how low your legs go. Give me one more. Legs lower without arching that back. Nice straight legs. Lift them up. Lower your chest, arms by your sides. Press your shoulders down. Let's go scissors. Kick and kick and kick. Think inner thighs squeezing. Your legs are slicing through the air. Your belly is controlling that movement. For three, two, open that chest more. Okay, last one. Legs up to the ceiling. Interlace your hands, lift that chest, and then double leg lowers. Reach them away and then lift them back up. Keep that lower back on that mat. Chest open, nice long straight legs, squeeze those inner thighs, reach for three. Last two. You got it, you guys, shoulders out of ears. You can do this last one, lower those legs. Bring them up, lower your chest, final set, big scissors, kick and switch, and switch. Get that lower back glued down onto your mat. Don't let it lift. Chest open, get your entire back side of the shoulder to press down, collarbones wide. Last two, last one, final set. Legs up that wall, hands behind the head, lift on up and then reach those legs away as they lower, lifting up with your belly. Just for four, we got this. Do not let your back arch, keep everything glued down for three. Chest open, hang on to it, just two more. Good job, you guys. Last one here. Lower the legs. Lift them up. And then lower your head all the way back down. Good job. Lower those legs all the way down onto that mat. Whew. Okay, we got some teasers. So you guys know teasers. Oh, pull those pants up. Okay, legs are squeezed together. Reach the arms all the way back. We're going to take a big inhale. Everything comes up into that teaser. Exhale. Curl up. Lift the legs, lift the chest, reach through the fingers, reach through the toes, open up your heart. Now with control, you're gonna tuck the tailbone, you're gonna reach your legs away from your head, get your lower back to roll down into your mat like we did earlier with that first ab set. All the way down, your arms reach back, you tease her back up. Inhale, exhale, the belly button is the heaviest part of your body. Everything gathers up around it. Your heart is lifted, your shoulders are unshrugged. 
And then again, reach your toes away from your head, tuck your tail, get that lower back to melt down, and then one vertebra at a time, you lower down, keep the legs active up until the very end. Squeeze that booty, teaser up your last time here, hold it at the top, freeze. Okay, from here, turn your palms in, you're going back into that hug a tree. Inhale, open, exhale, hug. Inhale, open, exhale, hug. Option to bend your knees if those hip flexors are turning on, that's okay. Two more. Okay, last one, back into those teasers. Reach those arms, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your butt the entire time. Your legs are reaching, they're active, squeeze, 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 all the way until the very end, your heels come down. Inhale, exhale, teaser, back up. Reach, lift your chest, relax your shoulders, reach everything up and out, and then lower with control, tuck that tailbone, get your spine to peel down. Okay, one more time, we're gonna come all the way up and hold that teaser, lift up, hold it up, chest up, palms in, let's go into that hug. Again, you can bend your knees, you can even put your tippy toes on the ground, this is totally fine, whatever you need. For three, scoop that belly deeper, for two, open that chest. Last one, reach those arms, tuck your hips, go slow on the way down, unravel. Okay, we got one final set, you guys. Inhale, exhale, teaser up. Lift everything, reaching taller, lift that chest, and then roll through that spine. Use that belly, use that booty. Everything is controlled as it comes down. Just two more. Exhale, teaser up. Shoulders out of ears. You got it, you guys. Hang on. Roll back down. Control it. Okay, last one. Inhale. Exhale. Teaser up. Hold it. Your last set. Hug a tree. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Open that chest. Keep your chest in the same spot, though. Try not to let it bounce for three. Last two. Last one. Reach up. And then roll yourself all the way down onto that back. Bring your arms down by your sides. Bend your knees, put your feet on the floor. Bring your heels close to your booty. Your feet should be two inches apart. Your knees are two inches apart. We're gonna roll up into that bridge. Tuck that tailbone. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Find your bridge, open up your chest, but keep those ribs tucked in. And then inhale, exhale, scoop your belly. One vertebra at a time, roll your spine into that mat. Untuck your hips, release at the bottom. Let's do that again. Tuck that tailbone. Feel how those quads and those hip flexors get a stretch at the top. You squeeze your butt, you squeeze your hamstrings, press into your shoulders, open your chest. Roll that down. Okay, last one, you guys. Roll up into that bridge and hold it. Stay right here. Okay, we're gonna march. Right leg in, set that foot down. Left leg in, set that foot down. So your job is to keep your butt lifted, stabilize your hips, make sure your hip bones are level, they're not rocking side to side. So it's a little weight transfer, you're gonna feel that single booty cheek fire up a little bit more as you lift that opposite leg. Chin off the chest, press those arms into that mat. Let's do one more on each leg, right leg up, belly button in, left leg up, Hold it right here. Make sure your heels are still close enough to you. Lift your heels, keep them lifted, and then just tap your booty, pick your hips up. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. So with high heels, you're doing that little flat back hinge. You wanna squeeze your tush at the top. Make sure all 10 toes are evenly weighted. Again, you're not rolling out into that baby toe. You want your inner thighs hugging in, so press into that big toe. Let's go for four. Three, squeeze that booty, ribs in for two. Okay, last one, hold it up. You can keep your heels high or you can drop them down. Let's go back into that march. Right knee up, set your toes down. Left knee up, set your toes down. So if you don't wanna be on your tippy toes, totally cool, take those heels back down. Just march. You got this, you guys. Again, booty is lifted, pelvis is stable. You're not rocking or swaying those hips. And then if you're on your tippy toes, make sure you still keep that pressure on the big toe so that your inner thigh stays active. Your knee does not roll open to the side of the room. Last one on the left. Take your foot down and then from here, high heels if they're not there already. Tap your butt, lift it up. Tap your butt, lift it up. One more set to go. Squeeze your booty at the top. 
Keep those heels high if you can. Ribs together, belly button to spine. Squeeze the back of those legs for five, four, three. Open the chest for two. Okay, final set. Keep your booty lifted. Option for high heels. Right knee in. Take it down. Left knee in. Take it down. Chin off that chest. You want to gaze straight up. Press into your arms to get a little more power. Squeeze your tush. Do not let your pelvis move. Okay, we're almost there, you guys. we got three more each side. Right leg in. Take it down. Left leg in. Take it down. Last two. Okay, last time here. Right knee in. Step it down. Left knee in, step it down, hold your heels high, squeeze those inner thighs, tap, squeeze, lift, tap, squeeze, lift, this is it, eight more like this, chin off that chest, here for six, breathe through it, last four, three, two, okay, last one, lift up, hold it up, lower your heels, and then roll your spine down one vertebra at a time. Great job, you guys. Straighten those legs out in front of you. Reach your arms to the ceiling. We're gonna do our roll up. Take a big breath in. Exhale, roll yourself up. Scoop your belly, roll over those legs. Round your back. Think of stretching your lower back, scooping out your belly. Sit up tall, reach the arms up, relax your shoulders. Imagine pushing something heavy off of you. As you roll yourself down, your arms are active. One vertebra at a time. You come all the way down. We do it again. Inhale, exhale, roll yourself up. And over, scoop your abs. Plug your shoulders into your back. Sit up nice and tall. Reach up through those arms, but keep your shoulders settled in your back. Tuck your tail. One vertebra at a time. Roll all the way back down. One more time. Exhale. Roll yourself up. Scoop your belly over. Come all the way up. We're going to roll down to the tip of those shoulder blades. So just to that C curl. Hold it right here. Freeze. Shoulders out of ears. Go into that little pulse. Scoop up an inch and back an inch. Press your heels into the ground. Squeeze your inner thighs. Roll your shoulders out of your ears. Collarbones wide. You have four. You have three. You got it, you guys. Last two. Press your lower back into the mat. Last one. Arms up. Exhale, back into that roll up. Up and over, scoop your belly. Come all the way up, reach your arms up, press that heavy object off of you. Roll yourself all the way down. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll up, scoop, stretch that back. Come up, roll back down. One more time. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, you roll up, you scoop it over. And then reach your arms up. Roll yourself down just to the tip of those shoulder blades. Reach your arms forward, palms down. Go into that little pulse. Scoop out your abs. Belly button is drilling down into that mat for five, four, three, two. Last one, let's do it. Arms up, exhale, roll all the way up. Scoop it over. Arms up, roll all the way down. Arms reach back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll all the way up, scoop it over, sit up tall, reach those arms up as you roll yourself down, okay, one more time, arms up, inhale, exhale, roll up, scoop it over, I'm going to scoop forward a little bit, roll yourself down just to the tip of those shoulder blades, palms down, little pulse, scoop deeper and deeper, make your collarbones wider, reach out through your fingertips, ground your heels into the mat, five, four, Three, two, last one. Lower all the way down. Stretch those arms all the way back. Bend those legs. Huh. Bring them up into tabletop. Okay, we got one final little ab sequence here. So you're gonna bring your arms up to the ceiling. Feet are above those knees. You can see them. Take an inhale, exhale, curl up. We're gonna pump our arms for our hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. So using your back. Open up your chest, breathing in for five, and out for five. We just got one more breath. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, freeze. Now just reach to the right, 
and reach to the left. Do not rock your knees. Imagine you've got a tray on your knees. You're just doing that little side bend. If you want to bring your tippy toes to the ground to give you a little bit more stability, do it. It doesn't have to be a big movement, just a little bit more oblique work here. For three, two, Last one, find center, go back into those pumps. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Just three more breaths. Open up your chest. You can always put your head down if you need to. Last two, collarbones wide. Get that belly button to sink deeper. Maybe those legs reach out. Last breath, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Bend your knees, go back into that little side crunch. So reaching right. Reaching left, trying not to rock those knees. Your knees should not be shifting one higher than the other. Your hips are super stable. Just that upper body moves. For three, two. Okay, we got one final set. Find center, pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Let's open that chest. You got three more breaths, shoulders on ears. Maybe those legs reach out again. Collarbones wide, pumping from your back. Last two, maybe those legs go a little bit lower. Navel into spine, one more big. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Bend those knees, this is it. Little side crunches. So think rib to hip, rib to hip. Again, option to take your toes down, get a little more stability. Do not let one knee shift higher than the other. Three, two, Last one, lower it down. Rock and roll, up and down your mat a few times, rolling like a ball. Good job, you guys. All the way up. Woo. Okay, let's go ahead and come onto our bellies. We're gonna finish off with a little back work. So come all the way down, one hand on top of the other, legs are straight and zipped together, forehead on your hands, elbows wide. Suck your belly button off the mat, Exhale, lift everything up. Keep that belly button off the mat. Don't let it come down. Lower everything down. Exhale, arms, legs, chest, head. Everything lifts up. Keep that belly button lifted. Lower it down. Just for three. Lower it down for two. Squeeze that booty. Okay, last one. Lift up, hold it up. Goal post arms. You're going to straighten your arms, separate your legs. Goal post arms as you squeeze your legs together. Suck that belly button off that mat. Straight arms, legs open. Goal post arms, legs together. For three. For two, keep pulling that belly button in. Last one, second step. Hands under your head, everything comes down. Everything lifts up. Those inner thighs are squeezed together. That belly button is still lifted off your mat. Head is glued to your hands. Hands are glued to your head for three. Elbows a little bit wider for two. Okay, hold this last one up. Goal post arms, straight arms, separate your legs. Goal post arms, squeeze it back together. You got this, you guys. Keep pulling that navel off that mat. Breathing through it. Last two. Neck long, look down. Last one. Final set, hands under your head, legs together, lower everything. Exhale, lift everything up, pull that belly button off that mat. Lower down and lift up, elbows a little bit wider. You can always reverse your breath. Inhale to come up. Exhale to come down, last one. Inhale to come up. Exhale to come down, now come on up and hold it here. Full post arms, final set, straight arms, separate the legs. Full post, squeeze it together. This is it for four. Keep pulling that belly button off that mat for three. Look at the ground. Make sure the back of your neck is flat for two. Open that chest more. Last one. Lower everything down. Press it back. Take a child's pose. And then you're just going to come up into a plank. This is your last thing we're going to do in class today. And Noah, uh, three sets. We're just going to do one. So come up into your plank hold. Heels together, toes apart. Booty lifted, lengthen your heels back, your head forward. Give me three push-ups and you're done. Inhale, bend, elbows narrow. You can always drop to your knees. Exhale, press. Two more, everything drops together. Look at the top edge of your mat. Press it up, last one. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press, hold, scoop your belly. Hike your hips up. 
Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Find your forward fold, let everything hang. Shake it out, take a big breath in. Exhale, curl yourself up. Nice and tall. Let your arms come all the way down by your sides. I'm so 